Welcome back. I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Acoustical, and today we're making a cow magnet stud finder. We use this stud finder uh, for finding screws. Um, a lot of times we're trying to find the screws in metal studs because we're working in commercial framing, uh, but it's more or less to find anything to affix a fixture to or for backing purposes, something like that. So this is more to find screws that are tapped into the studs for us uh, than anything. And it's a lot more compact than the stud finders that you would find on any residential job or, or remodel or something like that so you can just kind of take this stuff this in one of your side pouches where your pencil goes and it's just a nice clean fit so i'm gonna go ahead and make this up for you guys and then we'll show you guys how we use it i've got everything that i need to make here uh just kind of want to reiterate again i've got my drill my glue my cow magnet which is the center point of all of this my 764 bit my cap, my wire, and the knife to cut the wire <clears throat> string. First thing I want to do is come here, take the drill bit, we're going to go ahead and we're going to ream it out a little bit bigger than this 764. Set that aside. Next, I want to take this string, twist it all up, and get it through this hole. I'm gonna leave a little bit long here so I can tie about three knots in it. Okay. We'll do one, two, three. And you can see it's not gonna pull out. Trim those edges. You could probably take a lighter, light it, get them serrated. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our glue, and we're gonna just take our cow magnet and run it around the top edge of this where it's gonna meet the wire nut. Okay, just like that. Get that in there more so it has a better adhesion. Okay, we'll take, we'll set it right on the cap there, set it to let it dry. So I had to let the glue dry, but as I said, this thing is small and compact and we don't need any more tools more than we have already in our pouches. So one of the things that is nice about this is I could just take this and put it right where one of my pencils would go because I have a pencil holder over here. So it's nice and compact and you completely forget all about it. Okay, so there's two scenarios. One is we're trying to find the screws. The other is we're trying to find the stud. Um, the screws help us identify the stud, but in this instance, we know that this wall is wood framing, or I'm telling you that now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and find the wood stud by finding the screws. So this is that, this is that instance. So I'll go ahead and I'll take it along the wall, and this being a powerful magnet, it'll just catch one of the screws. So in this instance, I'll come through, and as you can see, it's powerful enough to just grab the head of that screw, even though it's buried under mud. So I'll go ahead, and I'll mark that, okay? 
if I was to hang something here. So now I'll go from where I think 16 is over here. And I grabbed another one about 16 inches away. So it's a nice indicator if I'm gonna go ahead and hang something. So we can see really quickly if I have my tape on me, which I probably don't. But if I have my tape on me, we'd be about 16 inches apart right there. So I'm gonna show you another alternative to the screw solution is we're gonna find it on the actual stud itself. The other scenario for this is actually finding the steel stud. Now, as you can see, this is one of the walls that we do a lot of demos on, whether it's door frames, hanging stuff, framing stuff, uh, things like that. So we're actually gonna show you guys that I can find the studs here unfinished by drywall. So I don't know if it necessarily works um, once we finish this with taping mud or anything else like that, but I'll just show you at least that this cow magnet is strong enough to pick up the stud through the 5 inch, 5 inch drywall. So as you guys can see, I'll run it over these screws. It's gonna catch those screws. So any of these screws, it's gonna catch. But when I run it over this seam, it's gonna very, very lightly just catch it. See, so it just kind of stays in that pocket. Now it's very, very light, and once you put once you put a coat over there, you might not catch it as much, which kind of defeats the purpose, but you'll always be able to find those screws. The screws will always be able to be found. You know, I, as you can see, it kind of just sticks itself right there too. So that's just kind of a couple of scenarios where this thing is really nice and compact to where you're not having to stick another, you know, another something you know, that's about the size of this in your pocket to try and find studs. So again, just wanted to give you guys a couple little unique scenarios uh, for this tool and, and how to make it up. It's pretty simple, costs maybe two, $2.50 to actually make one. A Little bit of time with the actual glue to dry, took longer than I remembered, uh, but we got that taken care of. But yeah, a couple little scenarios, you're finding your screws and you're finding your studs, which is super beneficial for us in the commercial field to not have to walk around with something, you know, like the size of this. I don't even have a stud finder, but I know that this is about the size of them. So um, this is a lot more compact. You know, you're not having to jam this in your tool pouch of something you don't need, nice, compact right in your side pouches there you pull it out whenever you need so uh as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys have any comments or questions uh we'd be more than happy to answer them below and hopefully you guys have a good one take care